people are people going to see you. And, and, you know, we learn to put on these facades, but the reality is that we know who we are and there's always a subtext where we're communicating this way. So if we think we ain't shit, the reason why the motherfucker that you with is not is treating you like you ain't shit is because you you're really telling them to. It's 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 in the at the core of who you are. It Feel comes. To you. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, okay. it's it's interesting with even like with, with comedy. And that's, you know, when I talk about your comedy and I'm saying how fluid and comfortable is because it, it, it exudes through your skin. Like it's it's something that's not it just it's in a comfortable place. And and that is why it's so different and so unique and so beautiful in that way. And when we act like that in real life, in every situation, the same thing is true. It just, you know, that those moments when we're on stage and there's such truth in what we're saying, mm -hmm. just because we're present and reacting as opposed to letting all these other, in, uh, you know, these other forces say, I need to, you need to do, you should be this way and you should be that way. Um, and, and I think that is just one of the things that's the most attractive about a man and a woman is, is that kind of truthfulness. And we put all these values on so much other stuff um, that doesn't even matter if there's no integrity in the first place. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I remember it, the first I was laughing earlier. I wasn't laughing at what you were saying. It was just that you said the word facade. Oh. And then that reminded me of the first time I ever heard the word. And it was at, at a youth camp. And then <laughs> it was, it was a, when Trouble Youth Program joined yeah, yeah, the yeah, church. Yeah. You, and, Dre? In yeah, a Trouble and Youth I used Program? To, I just used to fight a lot. I wasn't doing nothing else. I, I was being sarcastic. Yo. I, oh. I knew why you were there. I knew why you were there. I, I, was, I, was trying, I was trying to do nothing else. But yeah, I was in that <laughs> no shit. No one assumed and, you organized it. And we're running. Right <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Andre, Andre's 15 and be like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start a youth gore. <laughs> but no. <laughs> but well, ahead, ahead, guess it. but anyway, were, anyway go ahead. facade shit. It was just, it was When'd impactful because it? it was this kid that was a nerd and he said it like the whole, like, oh, even the gangsters kind of got like, so what that, what that mean though? <laughs> like it was it was a, a moving moment for the church. Like all of us was like, what all the fuck is a facade, nigga? Like, he stopped everything with that word. It was just oh pivotal. Vocabulary quizzes. That's how you stop the violence, right? Yo, that shit had a shook. We was just violence went away. Yeah. Um got a man. Aaron, you got a man. Uh, I was like, who are you talking to? Um, <laughs> Harry. I'm talking to Harry. Harry, you got a man. You got a man. Y'all broke up again. Yeah. Be specific with your questions. No, I, I don't have a man. I'm fucked up. He's no, gone. nothing going on, on Aaron. Or oh, is it because no. of the COVID? Mostly because of the COVID. Yeah. 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 I mean, I was I was I was cougaring for a while. Really? Um, How young did you go? Um, he's 11 years younger than me, which is still grown. Yeah, I'm not young. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. but yeah, he but he had he had definitely had the mentality. You know, it was just it was just having fun. fun. That nigga was playing mm -hmm. Xbox. What up? He got, what's his <laughs> pin number? I didn't know what he was talking about half the time. I was like, <laughs> OK, you got, a, you got a nice young back. Mm -hmm. I'm good. You know how I met him, though, how I met what? literally a nice young back. I met him because when I moved into this apartment, he was my you mover. Move. I hired a moving uh, help uh, from you all. <laughs> and he was my mover. I was like, well, he already know where I live at. He put the bed together. Shit. Time, you, know? <laughs> you might as well let him use it. Right. <laughs> you might as well sleep over. Shit. No. Did you, you really do it that day? Did you do it that day or you were just another day? Um, Two days. Two days. Later. Oh, yeah. Nah, give a good ass ass job. That's you what I'm right. talking about, Aaron. I'm about okay. to go get me a moving job. I'm going to start you, bro. All you need is a T-shirt with the company logo. Boy, your future bright. <laughs> and one of those dollies, just a dolly. And uh, that's oh, it. nigga, dolly no. save your back. Now you got other things to do. Yeah. <laughs> He's walking around with a dolly and a moving shirt. It so was that fun, don't even have a job, nigga. Just how long, just like how long did it? <laughs> right. He just dressed like a moving man. 
Where's your truck at? <laughs> nah, yo, I'm, they coming. They bringing it around. I got you, boo. He, he, he didn't even have a truck, though. He was just labor. <laughs> I had to rent the truck and everything. He just put the stuff on the truck. I was like, hmm. God damn. Oh, but, you were like, well, at least he's obedient. He put is. Put the stuff on the truck. Good job, son. Yeah. yeah. He was pretty. Yeah. How long did it go? Um, for? Off and on, probably for like a year and a half, but not straight through. Yeah. You would. Are you in a place where you're looking for something, not looking for something? When's the last time you had a uh, like a real uh, like a dude, dude? <laughs> before that. And that was before COVID. So yeah, yeah, it's yeah. been a while. Yeah. It's been a while. And I blame, you know, I blame work for some of it. You know what I mean? But I can't blame yeah, yeah. work for all of it. You know, yeah. And what but, do you um, think it is? What do you think the thing? Is, the well, you know, like I said, part of it was just fi- I didn't know how to meet somebody to make time for. Like for me, it was like, look, when I first meet you, we gonna have to fit it in in between. Like I don't know you enough to take off a Friday and a Saturday. Like, right, like, right. let me meet you in between the set. We have a drink. We see if we hit it off. Then if we, you know, we like each other. Then I'll see. But Right. Men don't like to be first thing. I'm not going to say this is the whole reason, but men definitely don't like to be fit in or I found that they don't like to be fit in, or the ones that I've dealt with. Well, um, I, I mean, of, I think you're right, but I think yeah. what happens is a lot of times it's the whole idea of being fit in fit in. Like yeah. it's so like once he's fit in. Right. And now you got this nigga on a schedule. He's like, Whoa, like I ain't, well, I, I don't ain't mean bought. it like that. I mean, fit into like once we get to know each like before we get to know each other, then if we vibe, I'll make time for you. Okay. But it was uh, make it was finding people to get to know. Well, that's a sacrifice. That worth, You're not just yeah. going to sacrifice it for some yeah. dude you exactly. just met. It's yeah. got to be something. Yeah. That's why? part of it. No. The other part is, yeah. Well, I mean, so what do you mean? You just like you would connect with somebody and then just not make time or, or just not you know not not cut your money i mean you I mean, get to that part right yeah, like yeah. where i where i wanted to know if i wanted to make time but like they I knew you wasn't. were they knew you were a comic right they did they did but they you know the the, the few, and it's not like it's a whole lot of people but yeah, yeah. the the few guys that it that it was they just didn't like the idea of like i'm like they like what you doing friday night i'm like what you doing tuesday afternoon like i was just trying <laughs> mm-hmm. to find somebody's schedule yeah, but here's here's a, you know it's interesting because dudes will do this a lot a lot of dudes who are uh, uh comics they'll have a girlfriend and they're young comics and they'll be coming up mm-hmm. and then they'll be trying to get you know get the grind on but then their their girl will be like you don't you don't they don't understand what it takes to be oh, a comic man, every relationship i burn them bitches to the ground <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, comedy. but you know second. but i'll tell you know what the problem is the problem is you treat your comedy you're treat you you're treating your comedy like a side bitch instead of like your wife because if they if you're going this is what i do right. yo i like you cover them yeah you gotta understand this is what i do so whatever whatever and, and you know if you say that up front a lot of times dude, they'll be like yeah yo i'm cool because you know they all they, you know on the front end yeah yeah yo i'm easy i mean you know i like keeping it light and everything and then all of right. a sudden when when somebody else is in my pussy, they <laughs> <laughs> you let somebody else in. <laughs> um, I so I think if it it's like male comics will always say, yeah, you know, I gotta I gotta rush home with I gotta I, now if you if if you're a plumber and you're and you putting in a boiler, I'm not telling you how. To boil, like I, I don't know how you boil. Like, right. Just what you do. So you have to kind of tell me what the parameters of my job is. Just like if I'm a comic and you go, oh, you hanging out? No, look, let me bring. Okay, let me explain to you. You don't do this, and right. I'm going to tell you the parameters. Now you can sign up or not. The yeah. thing is, if they're not signing up, they did you a favor because. What was this going to be? But that that same problem down the road, you know? Right. Right. So, yeah. So that's part of it. And the other part of it is just me being like. Just discouraged with the whole process. I think I spent a lot of time in my 30s on one person. Mm -hmm. And I think I just had a lot of like uh, starting this all over again and finding some, you know what I mean? Like I wasn't 100 percent into it either. So, you know. Why, uh, but I'm why, trying to do that coming out of this. I'm trying to hit the ground running, y'all. Why? Why do you think you weren't into it? 
partly because I was still Young Man School 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't.